Oh, it's goodbye, Quay Max, aka Quay. Today, look at that darn man's son ruined his mom wedding. He lives to regret it. Man, why is the snot nosed kid messing up my wifey's wedding? We are wedding, excuse me. But we're gonna be jumping into it. Hopefully, guys enjoy it. And uh, let's get started. Should anyone present know of any reason why this couple should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Bro, what is he doing, bro? I object. Max, what are you doing? I'm not gonna let you take my mom away from me. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, mom. Nah, bro. I feel like this is racially motivated now. He he only objecting to this marriage because he's black. That's that's the only reason. That's the only reason I could just I could just see it in his mind now. I'm not gonna allow you to to marry my mom, you monkey, you N word. Almost slipped and said it. Nah, bro. I don't I don't like how he his approach, bro. Um, I, I did not mean to. Uh, why? The kid's racist. Would you do this to me, Max? Max, Max, Max. But I object. I was finna say. Huh? Uh, sorry. What's happening? What do you think? I hate it. Bro's What's hate going it. on with you? First, you say no to giving a speech at the wedding, and now you say you hate every dress. He's racist. Do you really not like the dress? No, it's not that he don't like the dress. He just don't like igas. He just don't like people of, of color. He don't like men with melanin. That's that's what it is. Cause I promise you, if it was a Brad, or it was a it was a Todd, he would not be objecting. Trust me, trust me. I know I know these types. Or do you not want me to get married? That one's my favorite one so far. Thank you. Finally, Thanks, buddy. Sam. He's an ally. What do you think? Why are you making this so hard on mom? Facts. Um, isn't it obvious? Her, her, her fiance is black. I don't want her getting married. Why not? I think Terrence is pretty cool. Facts. Yeah, he's pretty cool. All he's gonna do is move into our house, completely take over our mom's life. You're absolutely right. She won't have any time for her kids anymore. Absolutely right. Your time has came, little boy. Your time has 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 came, bruh. So I'ma be, you could be trying to, you could be up late at night. I'ma be in the pantry eating your Scooby snacks, eating your, all, all your snacks. And you could be trying to go to bed in a couple hours to wake up to school. And all you're gonna hear upstairs is me digging in your mom's butt, man. Clap your cheeks. That's what you're gonna be hearing every night. Yeah. Absolutely. You better get used to it. Terrence is awesome. What? Mom wouldn't let that happen. Or would she? I need to find a way to stop this wedding. You look absolutely beautiful, sweetheart. <laughs> Are you sure this is the dress? Yes. I want to make sure that every detail is perfect. If anything were to go wrong, I would be devastated. The dress look good. I'm not sure I would even want to go through with the wedding. Uh, you shouldn't have heard that. Sammy, my man? I ain't no way, bro. I think I've got a plan. Bro, we just need on, to bro. find something that. Why he can't just be cool with the wedding, bro? Bingo. I don't like the sound of that. Snot nosed kid, bro. I'll take it. Are you saying yes to the dress? Yes! <laughs> oh, yes. Wait, Mom, what about this one? Oh, oh, no. Max! I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, it's ruined! I can't wear it like this now. No, no, you can't wear it like that anymore. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Bro, we come on, all bro. Of our dresses. Really? Oh. Look! Thank goodness. Oh. Yeah, man. Because we don't have a ton of time before the wedding. Max, aren't you glad it came out? Exactly, bro. You was doing all that, and we got it fixed. You, you female dog. Goodness, bro. Nigga, bro can't let me be happy for one second. Yeah, aren't we lucky? Here, I'll help you out of your dress, and then we can get you checked out up front. Great. Right. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. You did that on purpose. Great observation, Einstein. You should just stop. Your plan isn't going to work. Just right. wait until the wedding, little bro. Just I agree wait with little Timmy. Until the wedding. Whatever you've got 
Stop plan, Max. Don't do it. Today is really important to Mom. Thank you. Okay, so what you're saying is that you really want some new guy living in our house and trying to be our dad. Yes. I mean, not really, but then be quiet. Bro, you just have to realize, bro, you're you're you don't get the attention anymore, bro. I'm the big dog in town, bro. I'm the big kahuna, bro. I'm the H N I C head nigga in charge, bro. Your 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 time for to get your attention and affection is over, bro. I'm the new man. It's my turn, bro. Golly, dude. Bro, look handsome, boss. She looks pretty. I'm so sorry. I have no idea what happened. It's okay. Um. Uh, <clears throat> at my wedding. I told you this wasn't going to work. Please. You really think that was it? I've got two words for you. Jenny Delgado. What? Delgado? Isn't that Terrence's crazy ex? He put a restraining order on. Should anyone present know of any reason why this couple should not be joined in holy matrimony? How did he get in contact Take with now Jenny? Forever hold your peace. Very well, since we have no objections. Wait! I object. Uh, Jenny, what are you doing here? Facts, go. I can't let you go through with this. I know you're still in love with me. In love? <laughs> what are you talking? I ain't in love with this. I'm not in love with this woman right here, bro. The frick are you talking about, bro? If I was in love with you, I would be with you. But I'm not with you. You crazy, deranged lady. About. Let's just say I have gone through a lot in order to be here on time to stop this. <laughs> You have no idea what I'd do for you, Tear Bear. I just don't want you to give up on us. Us? We're meant to be together, just like you said. Bro, we, we, we are not meant to be together. The only thing that you're meant to be together with is a straight jacket, lady. We're not, we're not, no. No. We're over with, we're done. Ever since you, ever since you slept with my, my granddad is over, bro. I literally caught you in bed with my grandfather, bro. How could I ever take you back? How could I take you seriously? Terrence, what is she talking about? I don't know. I have no idea. Are you kidding me? That's Stop it. Stop lying. You're making me look insane. If you don't tell her the truth right now, I am never going to be with you again. Good. Uh, Jenny... I'm marrying someone else, literally, right now. I don't want to be with you. Facts. Wait, the truth about what? Bro. This. Jenny. Jenny, I'm still in love with you. I'm not sure if I can go through with this wedding. Please tell me it's not too late for us. Please, please. That's not me, bro. I'm not about to be texting my ex while I'm getting married. That's crazy. You like, like, baby, you gots to know that's cap. You gots to know that ain't me. Like, if I wanted to be with her, I would not have been at the altar. I wouldn't be at the at the at the you know what I'm saying at this wedding trying to marry you. That's that's I'm still in love with you. I don't think I can go through with the wedding. Please tell me it's not too late for us. That's not me. Terrence, what is this? That's not me. I didn't write that. Facts. It must have been someone else. Oh, it's just some other Terrence Parker who reached out to your ex to confess his love to her? I know what this looks like, okay? Someone else must have hacked into my account or something. But, baby. Yeah. I will never do anything to hurt you. You have to believe me. You're my everything. That is not what you said in your email. Well, I didn't type that email. Ooh, mm, you lucky. You lucky Susan been getting on my head recently, bro. Mm, me and Susan, we I got I got into Susan's good grace, but I really want to tear you a new one, bro. 
Get the frick out of my face, you dumb bimbo. Wait a minute. That's not even my email. What? You dumb bit. This mm. is my email. It's off by one letter. Mine has two R's. I don't understand. So you didn't send this email? No, I didn't. And you're not in love with me? Bro. No. No. Please go. No! No, 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 no! You are going to regret this. This is why I'm not you in love with you, bro. You need to love me. You need to love me terribly. Good penis will do that to a woman. Me personally, I would I would know nothing about that because I'm a child of God. And over here, we're we're waiting till marriage, okay? But word on the street, that's that's what that's what good peen does to a woman. <laughs> or a man. Uh sorry about that. <clears throat> Nutball, uh, crazy chick. I hope you still wanna marry me. Hey, you should look kinda good. Hold on now. Yes. Yeah, I still want to marry you. Thank you. I can't believe you went that far. Just give it up already. Not a chance. Bro. It's time to take it up a notch. Bro, bro somebody needs to kill Jay. that kid, bro. Kill him. Do you know, when I first met Terrence, I could have sworn I was meeting the greatest man I'd ever know. But you proved me wrong. <laughs> because the greatest man I've ever met is the version of Terence that you introduced me to. You complete one another. You bring out the best in each other. Oh, I suppose it's now? true what they say, you know. Do you know bro, this I, kid's I, I making me mad, bro. True, what they say when. Bro, this kid's making me mad, bro. <laughs> okay, just to be clear, that's not me. <laughs> that is uh... uh. You know what? Let's just cut the speech and let's get straight to the pictures, right? Okay. <laughs> Who's bro, on the tie that kid up, bro. Thank you for a slideshow. Slideshow. Somebody need to tie that kid up and, and throw some boiling hot water on him, bro. That'll make him stop. Oh. Dude, think it's funny, bro. I'm not gonna... Oh, I remember when we went on that date. That feels like yesterday. <laughs> we had so much fun that day. We did. <laughs> Why would you use that photo? I hate that photo. I told you to delete that months ago. That wasn't me. That. What on earth? That is a guy I dated a couple years ago. I don't know why that is in there. Oh, what? Thanks. Perfect, Terrence. Exactly what I want to see on my wedding day. No, I... Just stop the slideshow. Man. Start the music, please. Babe, I, I promise I don't know what happened to the slideshow. Whatever. Well, who was the guy she was... The, the picture of her with the guy. Don't throw it on me. I don't know what's going on. What I do? Max, why are you on the floor? I I, I tripped. Uh, on what? I mean, there. I, I fell after I uh, stepped on my shoelaces. Okay. I, I just forgot to tie them tight enough. But, but I'm fine now, yeah. This Thanks. man trying to sabotage my wedding, bro. Like, this is why, as soon as we get married, bro, you getting tied up and thrown into the basement. The only thing you getting is is dirty water and stale crackers, you f You won't believe what I just did. Hey, Max. Can I talk to you? Yeah, what up? Cool. Uh, I wanted to ask you for some advice. My advice? Yeah. On um, what? 
Are you getting cold feet? Do you miss Jenny? Are you trying to cancel? Because if you are, came to the right guy. No, no, not no, at all. My I have no doubt in my mind that I want to be with your mom. Facts, man. I want to, I want to, I want to. I want to hold her down and fill her up, bro. I want to I want to feel every inch of her anal and vaginal cavity. While you while you downstairs sleeping, I want you to I want you to hear your mom screaming, "Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Yes." Boy, I'm not about to leave your wife. If anything, I'm about to be plowing your wife like I'm in the field, boy. I'm about to be planting seed like a farmer. Farmer Max in the building. That's what I'm about to do. Still hope that she still wants to be with me after that slideshow incident. Anyway, I was thinking uh, it'd be funny to put a little whipped cream on her nose during the cake cutting. Just wanted your opinion though. Do you think she'd be okay with that? Well, I see actually, that. yes, he should, Sam. He should. Yes, you should. Definitely do it. Right, Sam? Right. No. That's a great idea. You should do it. Okay. Uh, thanks, Max. Actually, you know what you should do? Smash her entire face into that cake. Oh, no, no. She is so beautiful. I hate to get anything on her dress, and I don't want to ruin her makeup. No, 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 no. Do not worry about that. Trust me. She used to show us videos of people getting cake smashed into their faces all the time. Seriously, nonstop. It was kind of annoying, but also kind of funny. The point is, you should do it. She'll find it hilarious. No, she won't. Are you sure about that? 100% eh? And if you're really trying to get back from that slideshow incident, you should definitely do it. All right, well, I'm trusting you on this one. She's not going to like it, bro. All right, all right, everybody. It's time for the cake cutting. Will and, the Mr. and Mrs. please come to the front of the room? And then he laughs, I'm like, what's, what's so funny, bro? What we were trying to say earlier. What is this from? <gasps> My cake. Yeah. I'm so, so sorry. Bro, this, my this cake. This has never happened before. My freaking cake, okay. bro. Accidents happen. At least we have half a cake. That ain't no accident. It's Here you go, Mr. Parker. Thank you. That freaking kid, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? You trying to cut the cake? Actually, I have a better idea. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that to me? I'm nah. so sorry, babe. I thought you liked that. Why on earth do you think I would like that? No, because it, it was, I was just doing... No, everything has been a mess. The music, Bro. Jenny, the slideshow, and now this. I need a moment. Wait, Jay, let's talk about... This kid ruined my wedding. This kid, like, there, there's, like, like, I had a, I had a beautiful queen I was about to marry. He messed up the slideshow. He messed up the pictures. He messed up my cake. And now my marriage is hanging on a thread. My wedding, excuse me, is hanging on a thread. Man, kid has to go. In the, in, in the, the nicest way I could say it, the kid has to go. Sweetheart, everything's gonna be okay. It's not, Mom. If so like, much is going wrong on the wedding day, maybe it's a sign to just call it quits. Like, I'm yeah. actually getting mad. He's annoying me. Ever since the boy's dad passed, I knew I should just focus on being a mom and stay away from relationships. But, sweetheart, you need to allow yourself to move on. You deserve to be happy, too. I'm not worried about my happiness anymore. I just want my kids to be happy. Man, f freak them kids, bro. Freak them kids, bro. The same kids that's 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 ruining our our wedding, bro. Ruining our marriage, bro. Because this little snot little nose, big head brat, don't want the attention taken from him, bro. 
Even if even if our marriage goes goes apart, there's gonna be a new man in her life, bro. You got to deal with that, bro. May just be say say me and me and her don't work out. There's gonna be somebody behind you, it's behind me. Okay, you gonna mess up that marriage too. You gonna mess up that wedding too. And I know Max isn't. He has made it clear by not wanting to give a speech at the wedding and hating every wedding dress. I should have canceled the wedding then. No. It was wrong for me to be so selfish and make this about me. But are you sure about this? It's your wedding. I just don't want you to regret letting Terrence go. It's okay, Mom. I'll regret more hurting my kids. I just have to tell Terrence now. Okay. Hello? For all of you who don't know me, my name is Max. <laughs> I I'm Jane's oldest son, which in a way makes me the man of the house. So, so I got a little intimidated when parents came around because... He's black. You see, after my dad passed, I spent a lot of time hurting and missing him. But I forgot, I forgot to realize that my mom was also really hurt and missing him because she was always being so strong for my little brother Sam and I. That's the thing about her. She's always, always putting other people above herself and always being strong even when she doesn't have to be. Yeah, she and should. I guess I just got a little scared when Terrence came around because with another man in her life, I thought she'd stop putting me first. She should. But the truth is, Terrence, you're exactly what my mom needs. Facts, nigga, BBC warrior. Somebody to give her that 20 inch of meat. Exactly, I know. I know, I, I know I'm exactly what she needs. She needs a BBC king, okay? She needs that, in the famous words of, of R&P Capacci, she needs that ND. That, that, never mind. Because for the first time since my dad's passed, there's someone in her life to be strong for her and someone who makes her laugh and, and smile cream. in a way I haven't seen her do in a very long time. And squirt. I can tell that you really love her. The same way me and my little brother love her. I'm sorry. So I want to thank you for that. Because now I realize that seeing my mom happy is the most important thing in the world to me. That's a nice dress. I really like that dress. Sir, so I'm extremely excited to call you my dad. Hopefully, I can be half the man you are someday. So, I don't know how that's going to work. To the happy couple. Yeah. You're white. You're definitely not going to be the man that I am. Let's just get that straight. I can't actually drink that. Hey, DJ, drop a beat. <laughs> Sweetheart, did you really mean what you said? Mom, mom, I meant it, okay? So let's just let's just spend the rest of the night having fun and dancing and enjoying the party, okay? Yes. As Come we on. should have been doing the first time, man. Right? Tear bear! Honey bunch, please don't do this. Come on, you know we're meant to be together. Hey Danny Delgado. Take that! Yeah, bro, like, move out the way, bro. You better be on your best behavior. Like, bro, like, move, her, move out the way, bro. Like, nobody wants you here at all. But that's it. That song ruins his mom wedding. He lives to regret it. This song was actually making me mad, bro. Like, like for real, for real. This song was actually making me kind of angry. Like, the kid, like, the inevitable is going to happen. Even if I don't marry your mom, somebody else is going to be marrying your mom, bro. Like, get over it, bro. And then talking about his dad, dad. Bro, we do not care, okay? Trust me. I promise you nobody asked if your dad was there. Trust me. Trust me. But the Jordan's making me mad, bro. Like, he was doing all that, and he just can't be a, 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 a complacent kid and just be happy that I'm going to be the one that's going to be plowing his mother, bro, nightly. Like, 
Both the guys enjoyed the video, bro. <laughs> Quite Mexico. Also, too, I ain't gonna lie. The 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 lady in the in the black dress, she was looking kind of good. I ain't gonna lie. She was looking. She was she was a little, she was a little on the older side, but that dress is making her look right. I ain't even finna lie, bro. I ain't even finna lie. She has a titty on it. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Quite Mexico, aka your favorite husband. And well.